Hello, and welcome to another episode of 5-Minute Fridays. If I seem a little bit frazzled, it's because I am. I uh, shot this video once, and it wasn't in focus. I shot it a second time, and then the sun got in the way. So here we are, round three. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about immunity. Now, when it comes to immunity from a very basic level, you can view this as how your body is going to respond with the external environment when it is dealing with something that is foreign. So if something foreign enters my body, how well suited is my body to defend it against a foreign substance? Now there is a ton of different cellular processes that happen on a microscopic level. I'm not gonna get into that today because for one, it's out of my scope of practice. And secondly, someone else could better describe that to you. Simply what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you three different tips as to how you can improve your immunity. And I felt that this was a good topic to discuss simply because we're moving into winter time here in the Northern Hemisphere. So why not uh, discuss immunity? For those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, there is still going to be relevance in this video for you. So stick around. Here comes the sun again. So I'm going to try to somewhat hide it. Hopefully this is okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stand on my toes. I'm doing this video. It's, it's happening. I'm not gonna let the sun stop me this time. So when it comes to the immunity, one of the things that we want to look at is, I'm losing my train of thought, third time around, we want to look at our vitamin D. We wanna look at, more importantly, from an overarching theme, our relationship with our environment. And vitamin D is one of those things that we will get supplementally, ideally from the sun, and we want to try to get our vitamin D levels as high as possible in the summertime. So if that's not something you did, I'm not here to tell you that you really messed up and you've got no chance, but it's more or less to give you a reminder that next season or when we move into the spring, really try to make that a priority because vitamin D is going to be one of those vital vitamins that is going to help you or aid your immunity for when the winter time rolls around. And ideally we're looking for, we're, we're pretty much trying to get our vitamin Ds to a certain level that is gonna carry us through the entire winter period. Now, people have spoken about taking vitamin D exogenously or from a external source. And there's a lot of debate in terms of the science around this. For me, I just tend to look at the environment and how do we naturally get vitamin D and is how we get it naturally similar to how we synthesize it and ingest it and the reality of it is is that's simply not the case we typically receive vitamin D via sunlight which then interacts with our skin and from there there's a bunch of different processes that happen and if I just take it in a pill format and expect to ingest it and it go through my digestive tract, is that going to replicate that? Maybe to some degree, but I don't think it will entirely. And this is gonna lead me to my second point, which is eating foods or whole foods that are relevant to the environment that you find yourself in. So as an example, I live in the Pacific Northwest and right now would be the kind of prime time for me to eat things like mushrooms, root vegetables, and animal proteins. And that's more or less gonna be my diet for the next six months, six to seven months, really, because I'm trying to eat in relation to what I see in my environment, not what I see in the grocery store. Because if I go and start filling my body with, we'll say fruit or different types of sugar, now there's gonna be a mismatch between how I'm interacting with my body on a physiological level and what I'm actually ingesting because I'm having something that only grows in really an equatorial climate or in a very small window in this uh, part of the world. So eating in accordance to your environment is gonna be a second way. And the third way is making sure that you are relaxing and restoring your body throughout this time. I think inherently, we, 
we kind of are intertwined with the rhythms of nature. And you can see this just in the behavior of people around you. You can, and, and even in yourself, I'll, I'll use myself as an example. In the fall and winter time, I'm definitely going to go into more of a contraction period. I'm gonna go more into just being a hermit. I'm not gonna go out as much. I'm not gonna really have as much output. And then when I look at the spring into summer, that's when things are really gonna start to roll out. I'm gonna start to just plan more events. I just tend to have more energy to do things. And in large part, that's just due to me being kind of in sequence with the rhythm of my environment. In fall and winter time here, the sun will come up maybe at 7.30, 8 o'clock, and then on some of the shortest days of the year, it's down around 4 o'clock. Comparatively, in the summertime, it's up at around 5 a.m. and it doesn't go down until 10 p.m. So I'm getting so much more energy from my environment. And really, I'm just trying to create alignment with that. So if there's anything that you can take away from this video, it's just trying to create alignment or a synergy with your environment. And I think if you can do that, you are going to find that your immune response is overall going to improve. Obviously, there's little things that we can do here. We can throw ginger into our food. We can have chaga and turkey tail mushrooms. Um, you can make sure that you're going into uh, cold thermogenesis or cold plunging. There's all these different hacks that we can do, but I don't think anything really beats being in synchronicity with your environment. So that is all for today's video. My calves are getting sore from standing on my toes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the light appears to be okay. So that's gonna be the video for today. If you liked it, like it. You can subscribe to the channel for more content like this, as well as share it with people who you think would find value in information like this, as that just lets the YouTube algorithm know this is something that is worthwhile and it'll just funnel people similar to yourself to the channel. So thanks for checking it out and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.